Hello, my name is Linda Walker. I'm best known as a wildlife artist. I was originally trained as an abstract artist, which gave me a good working knowledge of composition. After trips to Europe, I found that I really fell in love with realism. For me, realism combines all the disciplines of painting, plus it has the added value of in-depth learning about the subject. Recently, we made a trek to Kenya. It was a private safari, and I was able to view the wildlife that I had only seen in Susan compounds, but in its natural environment. It made a huge difference in the way I painted them. I've become an avid traveler to gather subject matter, to display my work, and to teach workshops. This is a good way of demonstrating the wipeout method using an eye. Um, I've drawn in the eye of a, of a lion here, and I'm just starting to put in some of the lights and darks. I'm using a combination of brown matter by Windsor, um, Holbein's Yellow Ochre Italian, Sheba Flesh, and Indigo Blue. I'm going to very loosely put in the tones. I'm going to be a little bit cooler at the top where, it, where, it, where it's going to stay under the, the, have a little shadow from the eyelid. And if you notice, I don't use any white at this point. My white is Shiva flesh. That way I can control the whites as I put them in, but I'm still getting my lights. Now I've gotten this far. I've also gotten some a, a little bit of the Shiva flesh under here for the to, to designate some of the fur. And I'll take it across the top so that it starts starts forming the eye. When I get about this far, I'm going to take a very soft blender brush. And I'm going to just blend it all pretty much all in. Get rid of any of these edges. And then I can come back in and define just a little bit about where I want my, my darks. I'm going to kind of give it some of the texture that an eyeball has. I'll just blend this out a little bit more here. We're just, we're just taking out some of the edges so that the two things that you want to control are your lights and your darks and your edges. We'll use just a little bit more, just a little bit more color here. And give it just a little bit more here before we start with the lights. Now what I'm going to do is use a bit of a wipeout um, technique on this. I'm going to dip into just some terpenoid natural. And I'm going to take out, start taking out some of the color. You keep in mind that the, len the lens of the eye as it goes over the eye, is at a different angle than the pupil. The pupil dips in and the, and the iris goes all the way in. So we're going to take that out. And then I'm going to kind of take out some along here where the, the light would hit it, and just a little bit at a sh little bit sharper angle. Right here. Now I'm gonna keep on just kind of moving around it, the eye just a little bit, pulling in some of it. And then I'm gonna darken just a little bit around here. Try not to make too too rough. A, I want my line to be kept soft and easy. And this is using indigo and brown matter. 
and then I can go in and just heighten those dark areas right here. Maybe just a little touch there. And we'll soften again. Just through here. Make sure that those aren't overpowering the eye itself. I'm also going to now just take out just a little wipe out just right along the lid of the eye. Where the sun would hit that, the light would hit that. And maybe just a little bit more through here. Now I don't use white until the very end of it. And when I do highlight, I don't use just one dot. I'll use uh, uh, maybe three or four little tiny, tiny dots to show that so that it doesn't have, so it has just a little bit more of a sparkle. As you can see, this, this type of a way of doing things can, can be used for everything. This is why I say that um, you can use it on glass, water, material, almost anything. But just keep your edges soft. Make sure that you've lended a support for your final coats. Pretty easy. This painting is named Stumped. In the first coats of the painting, I used the wiping out method to develop the eyes, to soften the edges of the fur, and to find the pattern of light for the ferns. Another painting is Cooling Off. It's a good example of using the wiping out technique in the first coats to soften the area around the kettle and to find the points of light in the water. This will help keep the light source consistent and allow you to develop a cohesive painting. Thank you for listening and I hope this has given you some good ideas to start your painting.